Leslie Huddard with Body Wisdom Wellness is here to talk with us about the real secrets to physical healing. So Leslie, first off, I want to know, let's define healing. Okay, yes. let's start off there. That's a good place to start. Yes. So often people make the mistake like I did in the past of thinking as healing as a physical thing. Uh -huh. I went to when I was in college I had a lot of physical health challenges I essentially became a natural health expert in my early 20s when I started going to doctors and realizing I know more about healing than the doctor does mm. and so I thought I would go to chiropractic school okay but wow. I was a language nerd I was still thinking physically I lived in Japan for a couple of years and I started Ooh. studying shiatsu Asian body work okay and so I would bike up the mountainside and go to this little two mat tatami room oh, and the teacher wow. would say look at the person crystal with your empathetic imagination which nobody ever explained exactly what that was <laughs> and know where they need to be pressed most in this moment okay and as kind of a skeptical east coast kid i was like i thought this healing stuff was about the physical body right um so i was a little skeptical but eventually i started to have the sensation and understanding of holy moly, their chi, their energy is telling me to go left. Like I started to have this sensation when I was working on someone doing body work uh -huh. of this force energy that they call chi in Asian, okay. Asian medicine. So I started to think, okay, well, healing isn't just about the physical body. It's also about this energetic body. Okay. That's so, deep. That's yes, really deep. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so I came to know that not just physical, not just energetic, but it, as I've worked with people in my clinical practice and done trainings over years, I realized mm -hmm. that healing is actually becoming whole. Okay, wow. Healing is the alignment between who you are meant to be in your heart and who shows up on the outside. Wow. And so where that falls through can be any myriad of ways. It can be physical, it can be emotional, it can be the thoughts that we think about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so we hear a lot of lip service to mind body connection. Yes, I've heard of that. But we don't always know about how that exactly works. That's uh -huh. my specialty. Okay. So I would say healing is really in the alignment of who you are and what you're meant to be. These bigger yeah. questions that we sometimes ask in other realms, but don't need to spiritually, mentally, emotional, and how that shows up in your physical body. Wow. What you just talked about was so powerful. So the next thing I want to understand is, so now I kind of have an idea of what healing is. I feel like I'm doing a lot of this really? now because oh, I'm We're I'm coming into alignment. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's good. It's yes. working on you. Yes, I'm feeling it. <laughs> but if somebody wants to, you know, I've seen a lot about healing ourselves. You mm -hmm. know, what is something that we yes. can do to kind of work on, you know, self-healing? Yes. One of, so I teach a system that I've created over 10 years called the Body Wisdom Method. Okay. And there are certain principles that we really follow. So if I could give you... Uh, nothing else but a few things to start changing your mind of like, what is this healing myself? Uh -huh. Number one is that the body has a consciousness of its own. Wow. The body has its own consciousness, which means, you know, most of us, uh, those of us who have done like meditation and things like that are maybe more familiar with the mind. But for the most part, we think the things that I thought, the, the thoughts that I think in my head are me. Uh -huh. And we don't really pay attention to there's anything different in there. But when we start to do somatic or body-based type of work or healing, we start to notice people will often say, well, this is weird, but I'm, I'm getting this feeling like my body is saying this. Oh, wow. So it's a strange thing to wrap your mind about. So you might yeah. have to go on a trusting working hypothesis for the moment okay. <laughs> that there, your body has a mind of its own. And so if we can start to relate to our body as a friend, Mm -hmm. that is with us very closely but we know just like a friend you know the friends there and they have their own thoughts and they have their own agendas but we get along very closely this is one of the first major shifts we need to make to do really deeper level healing okay wow that's a huge mindset yes shift. <laughs> i don't know how i would get to that point i know that so i went to um a acupuncturist mm -hmm. once who yeah. actually she just kind of did some morse code with my muscles okay and came up with some answers. Yes. And it was just, it blew my mind. Mm -hmm. I went home going, Yeah, like, what the heck what just happened? happened? Right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, how does somebody get to the point where they can even take that in emotionally and understand mm -hmm. that? Or, you know, even accept that, that, that the body might have its own kind of thought process? Or yes. Good question. I think the first step is actually to start talking with your body. 
Okay. So I teach people some phrases, but the thing you can start to do, if we recognize that our body is like the best friend who's been with us our whole entire life, who every time it tries to talk with us, we kind of just tell it to shut up and close the door. <laughs> so it's a process of, sometimes I'll tell people, set a timer and just have some inward time. Just like okay. people are now getting very used to doing meditation and mindfulness, yes. it might look like something doing five deep breaths and really even saying out loud like body what's what do you need me to know right now mm. and just noticing okay. now it's not easy to do by yourself so i don't want you to feel bad if you're like well that sounds really strange i tried <laughs> that it didn't work so this is part of my work with people and what i do when i train women over a series of months is to yeah. really get those tools in yourself because we have this whole resource for better intuition, mm -hmm. for better decision making, for really knowing which way to go. Yeah. We've all talked a little bit behind the scenes today about like, well, how do you know when there's so many things that you could do? Yes. And my answer for that is that you trust the wisdom of your body. And there are ways to do that where you can even use it in your decision making of really knowing what's right for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank you for introducing me to this topic. I feel like I'm going to go home and I'm still going to be doing right. this. <laughs> yes. Alignment things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks for start. talking with us about the energy and about what it really means to heal and for giving me a new way to express myself. Yes, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much. Thanks so much. Glad to be here. <laughs>